Right, I think I've just like posted my first video and already I'm going to try and tell you um, so like a little fact to give you an idea of like what the gay scene is like in Brighton like the sort of <laughs> vicious, vicious kind of style it, it belongs to and like a real funny story of something that I've done and they learned my lesson well, they I learn my lesson my sure. Um, you will see me consuming a beverage because, um, I didn't mention the first video. I say it was practicing my TikTok video. Uh, I'm also in fucking quarantine because I got on holiday and, um, I now have to isolate myself for 14 days. So on day three and it's going real well. <laughs> mm. So, uh, the little vicious story to start with by writing scene is that I arrived back from a holiday. So I went to uh, Malta, uh, not specifically Malta, I landed there in the airport. I went to an island called Gozo, which is on the northwest of Malta. Uh, it's quite derelict. I've had literally the most wonderful holiday of my life with one of my closest friends, Abby, and her lovely son, Isaac. It, it was just amazing. Like, you know, I, you can tell I'm maybe like, like a little bit tanned. <laughs> I'm not normally this brown but um anyway i had a really good time i'm used to going to like grand camp with my friends and we're all like alcoholics and just get fucking arse hold and do alcohol every night uh so <laughs> yeah uh, i got on this holiday and i came home and the day i came home uh i received uh my housemate probably killed me um i received probably what i assumed was like a less than warm welcome i just thought you know i mean like the fucking dog that i hate was like trotting around here Hey, you dog. Uh, here, uh, I'll show you the dog real quick. Hey, you dog. Hey, you dog. Me and him have a real checker pass. I don't like the gun. Uh, more videos will come out about that later. Uh, so, yeah, so I arrived home and, uh, like, my housemate said to me, um, oh, yeah, mm, rumour in Brighton is that you're very selfish. Now, I can only assume I've been called selfish because, as I said, so I went on holidays to Malta and the day me and my, my friend Abby landed, uh, it got announced that we had to go into quarantine upon our return. So, you know, I mean, I had to do like 14 days, like self-isolate, all that thing. Um, I never read the rules. I never read the rules. I messaged my housemate. I was like, yeah, you've got to isolate too. And he was like, well, I need it. Can I call you tomorrow? Never got that call, never heard nothing. So I was like, well, it's your business, honey, not mine. I've been on holiday. I don't read the fucking rules, bitch. I'm on holiday. I don't want to read the fucking rules. I'm sunbathing, I'm getting this tan, bitch. So, you know, I arrived, didn't get no warm welcome. And then it perspi perspired. Perspired? It came about that um, my housemate didn't have to isolate and I, I secretly suspected that I got told Brighton Rumour has me as selfish because I dared to come home to my own house to isolate. And I was like, well, I assume that's the lying cunt that I referred to in my first video. Um, but obviously we're not talking, so I can't verify if they said that. Um, I suspect that's my housemate's thoughts more than anyone else's that I'm selfish. Um, but th that person doesn't have to isolate, so um, it's completely irrelevant. Um, but th to give you an idea, that that's that's how Brighton works. Is like tit 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 tit, like you know what I mean. Like no checking of the facts, no nothing. Just I'm assuming this, and I jump down the throat of that and be like, mm, that person can't. Uh, like, <laughs> bitch, if you got a problem, go to the person. Be like, look, this is what I think. Oh, well, that's what you think. Well, actually, that's not what happened. Oh, God. Mm, okay. Like, I'm not being called selfish. Honey, if you want to be selfish, I'll be selfish, bitch. If you want me to be selfish, honey, I can go fucking selfish. I'm the only boy. I'm the youngest of two, two older sisters, bitch. I could do selfish. Anyway, so that aside, my funny story was, so I was on holiday. I was on holiday and um, it, we had to share uh, like a room. I was like, oh, God, fuck. I, I was thinking of sexual activity. And obviously, I can't do that with my friend and her son in the same room. 
get a name for myself. Uh, so I went online and <laughs> I went online and I ordered a product. <laughs> I ordered a product and uh, the reason I ordered this product was because um, you might look at me and be like, oh, he's a total bottom, like, yeah, a little slag, whatever. Uh, and I'm, I'm trying to break out that box. I want to be... I don't know, just, I want to be like multi-talented. I'm like top, bottom, fucking in, out, up, down, everything, girl. So I bought what you might have heard of is called Fleshlight. <laughs> There's no real point to this story apart from, I don't know, maybe blow my own trumpet essentially. But um, so yeah, I, I bought a, a sex toy called a Fleshlight. Which is basically, it's like, it looks like a torch. I'd go and get it, but I don't dare show you. <laughs> I'd go and get it. It looks like a, like a torch. And, um, it can, it's, it's, it's basically, it's basically something you fuck, right? <laughs> I thought, if I'm a bottom, maybe I could be a top if I just practice or something. And I don't want to be a whore. I don't want to be a whore and, like, going on Grindr and, like, spread it all around. So I just thought, if I get something, you know, to practice on... Yeah, I'll be, I'll be super cool. Uh, so it arrived today. I sat it eagerly with my phone. I thought, bam, I'm going to be like, ooh, like, <laughs> non-stop. <laughs> so it arrived. And um, it's, not, it's not something they put restrictions on. And this is not boasting. But, you know what I mean? I did, I followed the instructions. I looped it up with a free loop gave me. I even ran it under the warm tap because you'll make it warm. <laughs> and it turns out my dick don't fit. Like, literally. Literally, I, I was reading the instructions. Like, I'm half in thinking, well, you're doing right, okay. It can, it can form a vacuum. It can form a vacuum. Just take the end. So not where you're putting it in. Just like... I'm like, well, the fucking end it off. It's half hanging out at the end if I stuck my dick in. So, basically, <laughs> what happened is I took the little, like, thing out of the tube thing. Had a little fun time with that. It didn't last long. I uh, had a little fun time with that. And, um, but I'm just, it's just led me to think. It led me to think. I was like, what do I do? Do they have, like, a returns policy? God, could you imagine working in that department? <laughs> it's dripping. <laughs> um, I don't know. Then I started googling. I don't know. However, so that is the point of the second video is to is to relay a story of uh the the Brighton scene being, um, relaying that I'm selfish for something I didn't even anticipate and coming back to my own house regardless of you know just following government advice. It's nice that I've followed it for a time. Uh, yeah, following government advice. So I thought I'd relay that and like, give you a taste of what the, the Brighton scene is like. And uh, just some random fucking story about a fucking sex tie bot and <laughs> wish I hadn't wasted 60 fucking quid that I did. Do you think I can return it? Well, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look on the website. I'm gonna look at the website and maybe try it a few more times. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts, motherfuckers. Mwah, peace out.